Hello, my name is Amanda. Hello, my name is Carolina. Hi, I'm Stacy. We worship with you each week from the Johnny Polk Correctional Facility in Seminole County, Florida, and we bring Christmas greetings to all our Northland family. Please join us in reading today's liturgy. Advent is the season when we gather to celebrate the birth of our Savior. It is a season of preparation and expectation of mystery and truth. As we wait to see God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, we put ourselves in the place of God's people who anticipated his coming thousands of years ago. We will read together the story of his incarnation. It is the story around which the church is formed. Together, let's read the words of Isaiah as he foretold the coming of our loving Savior in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2 through 3, and the Gospel of Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. This is how the birth of Jesus came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. We celebrate this season as the church has over the centuries with the lighting of the Advent wreath. The candles represent the light of Christ. The candle symbolizes his love, the love that redeems the world, that love that unifies his church. Please pray with me. Lord, surely our eyes have seen your salvation, whom you have prepared for all the world, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.